Shalom, call Allah Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, or Chaha Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, enough respect and salutations to the fellow Akiyam, the house of David, the hopefully elect. Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, brought to you, Akiyam, as well as the sincere Akwa that are listening and learning. Yeah, so this is your brother Yahweh Saab coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. And this lesson is uh, pretty disturbing, man. All right. The mothers of our children, whether they be daughters or sons, uh, they have become very cruel, all right, to our little ones. They have become very um, inappropriate. And you don't need no um, a producer, all right, or a executive to uh, pretty much record these things. These are things uh, that our people willingly and woefully do. You understand? Lord willing, this will be edifying and comfortable. We're going to start off in Isaiah 1 and verse 20, 21, and it reads, How is the faithful city becoming harlot? That's right, because we once was faithful. All right? Now we are into all types of practices, man. All right? And this is a very inappropriate generation. It was full of judgment. Yeah. <laughs> Righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. You see? You people assassinating our little ones, man. Our young men, our young women, and you're thinking that's all good. But it's not. You understand? Hey, and this is why we hasten the coming of the Lord and Savior, how about Shem Yahweh Eve has got a scope on her, along with her counterpart, Esau Edom, man. This place is becoming a uh, uh, you know, it's already become that degenerate, but we're seeing it on a wide scale now. We are now witnessing these things with our own eyes. Yeah, they have been said that, that women uh, had their little children doing this and that, you know. But now we're seeing it on a on a wide level, man. So is everybody else, you know. Matter of fact, let's go over here. This is Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, for the vineyard of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah of hosts, is the house of Israel. And the men of Judah is, is uh, his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a cry. And we are the only men on the highways and hedges crying out, man. Crying out for the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. And you people got the nerve to ask us why we're always on our people, why you're always on the women, why you're always on the men. Well, if you got women like this raising young boys, you raising young girls up, all right, pretty much to continue to transgress the laws, then, yeah, we're going to cry out, man. You know? The Scripture tells us that. Let's get that. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. So we got no respect to persons around here, man. These little... Little uh, uh, kids are becoming monstrous, man. Calling their mama the B word. This got to be, uh, 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 you you people should be in an uproar about this, man. It says, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And we're showing it to you, man. We're showing it to you, man. The proof is in the pudding. You can't make this stuff up the scope. The Scopeo, man, is on E, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women, and the Scopeo is on uh, Esau, Edom, man, all right? That serpent that gave you that liberty to gather abroad. And you see what it's turned out to be, man. We are, we are destroyed as a nation. Check this out. I've had people say that we're too close, point blank, and I was like, what? I don't see why they feel like our relationship is like so bizarre or weird. Okay, you got to spread it open a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 
I showed her my first sex tape about two years ago. I showed her my first sex tape maybe a year ago. I was like, hey, I want to spice things up. I bought this outfit, you know. What kind of positions do you think I should do or what do you think we should do? And she was just like, oh, girl, prop your leg up in this angle. And this is why the Lord called this place the adulterous generation. And it's a very inappropriate generation as well, man. You see? See, the Lord is, is, is hey, he, he works in ways that only his, 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 his men, his servants would know. All right? And again, it's being displayed <laughs> on a national level, if not international level. All right? This is second edge of five and eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places. This is a confusion. Daughter having those type of conversations with her mother, man, about her, uh, you know, sexual desires and uh, her sexcapades and shenanigans, man. Then you had that first one out there, you know, uh, hey, that little boy going to grow up to be a monster, man. As the scripture is going to continue, uh, continue to tell us, it says, And the fire shall be all sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Yeah, they're bringing forth monsters, man. All right? There's no judgment going on in Israel, man. You women out there that are raising young boys, you men, uh, you, you women out there that are raising young girls, you have no type of uh, uh, judging in your goings, man. You allow them to do whatever and whenever they will, man. All right? You see, you can tell there ain't no fathers in these children's lives, man. And one of them are grown damn ass women, man, thinking that's appropriate to do such a thing. And here it is, our people celebrate this type of nonsense. You know? This uh <laughs> this 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 harlot, man, of a of a nation that we have become, man. All right. Under the watching guise of Esau Edom, man. You know? Lamentation four and three tells us even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostrich in the wilderness, man. So the Lord here is comparing you, you, you nigger woman, you end dubs out there to, to uh, you. He putting you on a level below the sea monsters, the whales, <laughs> you know, brutal, harsh, willfully causing pain or suffering to others or feeling no concern about it, man. You just like your father, the devil. All right. He was, he was a, a liar from the beginning, man, a murderer, a thief. And that's just what you're doing to our young, our young kids. You're leading them straight to the slaughter. And this should be an issue, all right? Where, where are all these uproars of the people at with our folks, man? You know, they only want to come out when Jake gets shot down by a so-called white man. But where are you at on this matter, man? These degenerate ass people out here, man. These women out here that ain't got no, uh, uh, you you know, sense of keeping a man around to have some stability around, man. You want to be the independent, you know. <laughs> it, it's it's just it's just it, it has gotten out of control, man. Isaiah forty nine and fifteen. Can a woman forget her suckling child? That she. Should not have compassion on the son of her womb. The scripture tells us, yeah. You see that? Instead of bringing your child up the right way, instead of calling you a bit, but, but let some uh, Jake out on the street call you a B-I-T-C-A. Oh, you ready to flip tables and uh, go to war and shed blood for that? But you got your little young man, maybe even three, man, not even five years old, smacking your ass, calling you, calling you a... Uh, 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 my mama might be. Man, they look, little boy need to be, his neck need to get wrung out, man. You know, the Lord said, yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee, man. You know, so to nurture your son, to nurture your daughter, to bring them up in the way that is right. All right. Hey, that's, that's a disciplinary act. And to have that discipline, you have to be a man of the Lord, man. Hey, you have to be a woman following that man of the Lord. If you want to go uh, uh, get things back in order. Matter of fact, let's get Psalms uh, 103 real quick. And this, get, this gives it in, 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 in detail. It says, 
uh, Psalms 103 and 13, like as a father pitieth his children. You see that? As a father. That's what scripture tells us, man, about a father, man. Him that have joy in his children. And him to want to see the fall of his enemies, man. You only have a handful of men uh, uh, that are looking to that notion, man. It says, so the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, pity of them that fear him. You see? The ways of a child fail the father. All right? And we have pity on our children, man. Those of you that do have children, those of you that are blessed, you know, th that the Lord uh, put that light up on you to bear children, right? For you women. And bless the man for him to have children. But nevertheless, here it is. Esau done turned things uh, way upside down. Well, they, they, they take the man out of the equation, man. And you have nothing left of that, man. You see the results of that these days, man. You see little Jake out there walking with extendos. Ain't got no enemies. Pants down his goddamn ass. You see our women out there. Uh, flip flops and nothing else on. That's all you bring to the table. Is as, as, as a half or wop. That's just a half of it. That's all you got to bring to the table. You women, that's all you got to bring to the table these days, man. It's horrible, man. And this is why we crying aloud. This is why we sparing not, man. We have no respect of persons, man. You know? Let's go back to Isaiah. Let's try to wrap this up. Uh, Isaiah 5. This is verse 20, and it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. Yeah, you egging it on. All, all, all you need is a couple lawn chairs and some beer and some, and some uh, 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 rosé. Now it's a damn party. Hey, 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 I can't stand that damn. I can't stand that, man. This has gotten out of control, man. This is a very inappropriate generation. And you got people out here clapping this shit on, you're celebrating it, and you're thinking it's okay. Let's read this again, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. This is what they do, man. You thinking sharing sex tape with your, with your mother is, is a, is a uh, you know, thing, to, to, to be laughed at? To be joked about? No, man. Hey, the delicateness has have gone away from our women, man. Now, we, we do have a few women out there that's trying to walk that right path, just trying to get right, you know? But as a whole, as a whole nation, man, we are pretty fucked, man, you know? We're pretty fucked, man. It says that put bitter for sweet and sweet for Bitter. That's a bitter thing. If our forefathers and foremothers seen what was taking place with our children and their parents, so forth and so on, amongst themselves, man, they'll throw up, man, in their mouth, man. It's, it's, it's just, what else? <laughs> Again, you have no producers. You have no directors. Here it is. They're on their own time, and this is the results they come up with. Yeah, TLC had to put that out there. They like, oh, we found, we finally found a mother daughter relationship that's too close for comfort. That's why they put it out there. But on these TikToks and Instagram, hey, the Lord is revealing y'all secret parts, man. And the Scopeo is on you. You see. So let's wrap this up in the book of Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter three. All right, I'm going to start at verse 1, and it reads, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. That's right. And they are here, man. For men shall be lovers of their own sakes. And that goes into women, too. Covetous, bolsters, proud. Yeah, they proud. This is a, this is a proud thing that the mother, all right, and, 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 uh, to her children are doing, man. You don't even nurture your children the way you should, where you should. Even though you've been taught a, 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 a right way, you still take the, you know, you take the bait of what the serpent have given you, man. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents, see that? Unthankful, unholy. They're not separate from this world. Therefore, they're going to die uh, uh, with the world, man. Without what? 
natural affection. These women do not have the natural affection to their children that they should, man. It's a truth-breaking. It's a false accusing. It's incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Yeah, we, we frown at it, and we tell you what's right, and you despise it. You know? That makes you headed. That makes you high-minded. There it is. Hey, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, uh-oh. And both of those incidents, both of those little clips, you've seen they're lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of the Most High. You see? Verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. From such, turn away. We can't affiliate, the, uh, affiliate ourselves with this type of nonsense, with this type of foolery, this type of folly. You see? Verse 6 it says, For of this sort are they which crept into houses and led... Uh, Salakia, so I ain't going too far. I went too far. So that was the end of that. Salakia. Okay? So, yeah, turn, we'll turn away from that nonsense, man. All right? Because they deny, what, the powers that be. They deny the natural order of things, man. And this has been the appropriate, inappropriate generation. So with that, Lord willing, it was edifying, comforting. On to the next one. Shalom.